like mom's not home Tell me why the best things feel so wrong Summer nights, love them how they take so long Alright, we're done with the boring stuff. Now we'll get into some of the kind of goofy questions that you guys probably want to know. Walker, um, how about we talk about the first time we met here on move-in day? Because if I remember it right, I Magic was... Man. I was in my room, like, I had just gotten here off after my uh, freshman orientation hiking trip, and I was in here unpacking my stuff. All of a sudden, I see this, like, huge guy come into my room. All he has is a towel on, and she's like, hey, what's up? And, uh, yeah, that was, that was my first time meeting Walker. It was uh, definitely memorable, to say the least. Fun fact, uh, I think I met everyone on my floor in my towel or underwear. Didn't mean for it to happen like that, but... You know, it, it, was, it was all right. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> and then um, later that first night, uh, we had our first Froco meeting. So like I said in probably some of my other videos, everyone at Yale is put into a group of uh, freshmen, and they all have the same Froco. Our Froco was really awesome this year. So pretty much everyone from my room to that way, sorry, to that, that way. way, that way, we're all in the same Froco group. So we all have the same freshman counselor. And uh, he was our first year, first year counselor. Freshman, my bad. Freshman, 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 freshman. Okay. Um, uh, so yeah, that night I remember um, Walker was also in my Froco group, and yeah, that's when I learned Josh was Magic Man. Magic Man. Pretty yes. Magic Man. Everyone on campus knows him now as Magic Man. So if you see him, don't call him Josh. Magic Man. Yeah, yeah. So it, we kind of made it a tradition that we'd end every Froco meeting for the first ten nights here with a little magic trick from either me or Jake, and. Uh, you know, we began building our reputation. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, awesome. Big reputation guy. Big reputation. Big guy. reputation guy. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, also, Walker always gave the best reactions to the magic trick. I remember we, <sighs> we were like... I love his tricks. We were walking out of like a health and sexuality workshop or something, like one of the first weeks. And uh, I'm just sitting there like back palming a card or whatever. You know, just back palming a card and Walker is just this flipping appears. out. Where does it go? I mean, obviously like... Disappears. It's gone, right? I don't know. Walker. Yeah, he's always been. He's always been there to uh, kind of hype up my magic. He brings some of the football you guys gotta have here. A hype man. He brings like all the guys of the football house. <laughs> magic man. They know. Him. They know him as Magic Man. It's, it's a good time. Big fan. Of, big fan of the football team right here. Football <laughs> team's a big fan of him. We need to do a show. Yeah. You need to do a show for the magic show for the football team. Yeah. Football team. That, that definitely nuts. has to happen. That yeah. needs to happen. <laughs> all right. Obviously, we all love the. Uh, Timothy Dwight Dining Hall, you know, best food on campus. Um, but, <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, we love it. Um, what is your favorite dining hall that isn't TD? Well, that's a hard question. I would say either one of the new colleges, Ben Franklin or Polly Murray, but I'm kind of biased because I have team breakfast every morning at Morrison Styles, and so I eat there more than any other college, so I guess that might have to be my favorite because they got pretty good pizza there, and yeah. the food's usually always pretty good. Yeah, if you guys don't know, Morrison Styles are the really, really ugly-looking modern ones way over by the gym, but they, but they both have, they both have good food. Fun fact: no 90-degree corners on the outside of the building. Really? Yeah. Whole building, no 90-degree corners. Wow. Yeah. It's just weird. I don't know. Those both of those colleges are weird. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how much this is I'm gonna keep in. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, so you mentioned your favorite dining hall. What is your favorite food at the dining hall? Like, what's what's your favorite thing that they serve here? Oh, chicken finger day, of course. Chicken finger day, not yeah. Cape Shark. Cape Shark. <laughs> Yum. You know the daily catch? Oh yeah, daily the daily catch. catch. You can smell the fish cooking away. <laughs> so they have they have this thing at dinner sometimes. They call it daily catch, right? And then they have the little card with the ingredients. And I'm like, oh, what fish is it, right? So then I look at the card and it literally just says. Daily catch, comma, water. I'm like, oh, thanks for the info. Wow. Right? Yeah, so we don't really know what we're eating. We right? don't know what we're eating. Food's fine. Food's fine. Yeah, it's good. Chicken, chicken finger day. Yeah. Every two weeks. Thursdays. Thursday. Big day. Big day. Big day. Big chicken finger guy. Big chicken finger guy. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the mac and cheese they have every once in a while. It's, it's really good, good, too. It's pretty good. Yeah. Um, Need better barbecue. Need better barbecue. Yeah. yeah the I'm from the south. Good. You gotta have good barbecue, man. The ribs. Mm. The ribs are good. Hey, ribs are good. Uh, sure, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So obviously we are, I mean, Yale students first, right? Yeah. Um, and we, we do a lot of studying, obviously. A lot of studying. A lot of studying. Um, what's your favorite study spot? My favorite study spot? That's a tough one. Uh, you can catch me most nights studying in my office. Office? 
You guys saw at the beginning, it's not much of an office. It's kind of just like an emergency exit hallway that he turned into <laughs> his office. That's my office. I don't even know how you fit the desk in there. Magic. Magic? Yeah. Yeah, with my help, maybe. With his um, help. <laughs> uh, also, I just kind of, I, I really enjoy the library stacks every now and then. I'll go up there, kind of quiet. A little creepy. Little so creepy. I don't like to go there at night, you know. Yeah. Seventh um, floor? Seventh floor, Seven big time. Four. But, yeah, I, I mostly, you can catch me in my room. I get a little, little music playing. I'm a classical guy when I'm studying. You gotta have that Beethoven on. Beethoven. Bach. Bach, definitely. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, that's where I like to go. Cool, cool. So obviously, Yale is in the beautiful city of New Haven. Um, what What do you think of New Haven so far? And like more specifically, like what's your uh, what's your favorite restaurant? You know, like uh, how, how's your experience? How's your New Haven experience been so far? New Haven's experience been pretty interesting. Uh, I've been yelled at a couple times by the fellow. Townies, as we call them, townies, people yeah. who live in New Haven. Yes. So I've had this uh, fairly interesting experience with them. And food wise, though, food wise is very good. There's a lot of great restaurants around here, especially Prime 16. Have you Ooh. ever been there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good burgers. Great burgers. Prime 16, yeah. really nice place to go. If you're ever in New Haven, try that out. Louis Lunch. Yeah. Louis Lunch, fantastic burgers as well. Have you been to the pizza places yet? Pepe's? I have not been to Pepe's. Yeah, I've been to New Bar. Haven. Oh, yeah. Bar's pretty good. Okay. New Haven pizza is definitely a thing. Like, some people say it like rivals New York pizza. It's pretty good. I heard modern is pretty good. Modern pizza. Yeah. That's what Jake said too. I've never been there. there. Yeah. I'm just, I just guess I'm just Yeah. giving a shout out to modern. Yeah. Alright guys, I guess that pretty much uh, sums up the little interview thing we had going here. I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, hopefully those of you that are looking at trying to get recruited um, got a little more information on that and those of you who aren't just learned a little more about Yale and the students that are here. If you guys are interested in Walker or what he's been up to as a Yale football player, uh, you can probably check him out on his social media. You want to yeah. follow me uh, at WLot7 on Instagram. You can follow me on Twitter. It's Lot underscore Walker. I'm not on Twitter a lot, but I'll take the followers. Instagram. Instagram. Right there. Big Instagram. Big guy. Instagram guy. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully, I'll be back again in a couple days with another video. If you guys like this uh, style of video, definitely comment down below and let me know what you think. I'm sure Walker would love to hear from you. Oh, yeah. Um, if you enjoyed, drop a like. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe. You definitely won't regret it. I'll be putting a lot of new stuff out in the coming days. As always, I'll be back again in a couple days with another video. See you soon.